on in your world. Morning, Chip. Morning, Tammy. Morning, Tracy. Morning, Danelle. How are you guys? Say good morning, sunshine, real quick, and share something you're grateful for. So there's these times in our life, you guys, where we're, we're aggravated, we're frustrated. And by the way, when I do Good Morning Sunshine and I talk about mindset, I know that there's that there's aggravation, that there's challenges. I, I understand that none of us are uh, like available to completely have a void of that in our life, right? And it literally is something that's gonna happen to everyone. So as we were going to bed and I was talking to this person, I just wrote back real quick, um, you know, cause we, we couldn't discuss the full situation. I like, talk, to, talk to you tomorrow, but for now, give gratitude for the, the bed underneath your body and the air coming into your lungs. Right, and um, I lay there as because this was right before as I was going to like sleep, and I started to do the same thing. So I always say my gratitude as I'm going to bed. You guys know that, right? I share like thank you, Lord, thank you for this exact moment, thank you for this moment I'm in, and then I go through all these different things, and I'm like I like I meander like from body parts to ankles to things around me to people that I love, and it's like this wild journey of gratitude. But last night I just focused on these two things. And as I was laying there in my mattress, like I had to lay sleep on the floor the last, I think, three nights because I had to sleep on something hard for my back. This is the first time where I've actually laid in my bed. I was like, just really felt the mattress. This is going to sound weird, you guys, but I want you to listen because I would like you to practice this tonight. Okay. Like I literally felt the mattress and the comfortableness but like behind me that I could just like lay there and sink in and have that peace. Right. And then I felt the sheets like the cool, clean, crisp sheets, right, that are there. And then I felt the sheet on top of me and then my comfort, like I love my comforter, I love the weight of it, and I felt that. And I just, I just like was, I just, I just, I, like, I, I buried myself into that moment, just like thought, wow, I'm so thankful for this exact situation, like just for exactly where I'm laying right now. Thankful for the smells that are around me. Like I have my little um, diffuser that's right next to me and I'll put lavender in there or whatever. Like thankful for those smells. Thank you for the sounds that I have that are around me right now. And every time you do gratitude, you guys, usually um, there's some sort of connection to what would it be like without those things? Because otherwise it just seems like you're taking it for granted, right? So I always kind of like dive into like, what would it be without, like what, are, what is it like for people without a bed right now? Like what's going on? I slept on the floor for the last three nights because of back pain. What about that guy that's sleeping on the cement and has been sleeping on the cement for the last year, five years, 10 years? Right? Like, I mean, like, it was very interesting. And I'm just like thinking about around town. I looked it up. There's over 550,000 homeless people in the US, estimated based on the, the website that I found, right? So, 550,000, over half a million people who don't get the luxury of having that bed underneath their backs at night. And then like when you do that, like, and this isn't a lesson in anything, but like you having the gratitude for the situation you are, there's frustrations, life is going on, you're aggravated at something, but oh my God, you get to lay in a bed at night. How freaking cool is that? And that's just the US. Like think about the stories, the things that you've seen worldwide and the poverty, people like that sleep in dirt. What is like, and think about like their, their situation, they're laying with that level of comfortness. What are their sounds? What are their smells? Are they listening to screams? Are they listening to, I, I, like, I don't know. Like, I, it's like for me, like, oh, it's like almost like I don't even wanna dive into the thought of it, right? But you lay there and think about how freaking lucky are you to have a bed beneath your body? Have you ever really like taken that in? I know I'm talking slower today because it's like, I have to pause after I say that and think like, that's pretty effing cool that I get to sleep in a bed. And here I am being pissed about X, Y, or Z. I'm frustrated with my husband. I'm, I'm aggravated with my kids. I'm, I'm annoyed at this situation. This coworker took my parking spot. This, like whatever, like the little baby shit. You know what I mean? And I get it, like I get it. You can still be frustrated about that. You can still be aggravated with your, your spouse and your kids and the situation and your coworker because life happens. But pause for a second and be like, why am I so pissy right now? Like, think about the things that I have in my life. I have a bed beneath my body when I go to sleep. I'm super lucky. Super lucky, right? And then, like, I connected it because I was imagining laying there with the bed beneath my body, right? So, like, I'm, I have something on the backside. And then I said, and also gratitude for the lung coming, like, the air coming into my lungs, right? So then, then like, the next part of my gratitude last night is I was laying there and I, I imagined all these different things and my mind wandered around and just really found complete appreciation and gratitude for that bed beneath my body. And then I started giving gratitude for the air into my lungs, like just be able to lay, to lay there and just pull in air and have my chest, you know, expand and contract. And then my body is able to do that. 
Very pretty freaking lucky. No air in your lungs, you guys. Where are you at, right? And not to mention, like, so my mind's like wandering about this. There are some people, in fact, one of my newest clients, she only has a partial lung. She's functioning on a partial lung where things like it fills up with fluid, right? Can you imagine that? Like the constant battle of like having little space for breathing and then a, a challenge of having fluid in those lungs? That would be very challenging, right? But for most of you that are listening right now, your lungs work. Like you get to breathe. You get to breathe air in and breathe air out. Do you take that for granted? Or do you like, do you ever pause just to think, I am pretty freaking lucky. I have a bed beneath my body and air coming into my lungs. Today is a good day. Yes, that pissed me off. That frustrated me. But like, really? Do I, do I need to be that frustrated about the dishes in the sink? Or could I maybe just focus on the fact that I have air in my lungs and a bed beneath my body? And I'm not trying to like set our standards low. I'm trying to have extreme gratitude for what we do have. Right. So um, in this, you guys, every single time we're talking about going from here to here in our life and here's where we are and there's where we're trying to get. Sorry, here to there in our life. Right. There's what we're trying to get in your here right now. One of the key things is to always have gratitude. It is a good day, hun, Daphne. I love that. Um, one of the key things is to have gratitude for where you're at, like complete appreciation. So when we dive into our, our thankfulness for what's around us, you guys, like See, see the things that are around you that other people don't have or strip the things away from yourself that like that make you happy. Like I look at this one little sign that I have that says always stay humble and kind that's right above my doorway. That sign makes me happy, right? And then it reminds me of the memories of us going on a trip and we were in New Orleans and that was between Key Wincy's first vacation. Like little things like that. It's just around me. Like I have gratitude everywhere around me. So be so thankful for where you're at. Be appreciative of the body beneath the bed, the bed beneath your body and the air in your lungs, right? But that doesn't mean that we're not trying to move forward. That doesn't mean that we're trying to push forward. It just gives us so much more love in the moment of where we're at. Making sense? Okay, so you guys, you're gonna say I'm committed and I'm gonna go up and get my baby boy and bring him down here to you because I hear him, he's yelling upstairs. He literally is just waking up. Like I am grateful for that. Little baby boy needed to sleep. So if you are committed, commit to giving, like literally when you go to bed tonight, I want you to think about like having gratitude for the bed beneath your body and the air in your lungs. Time out, say that you're committed. I'll be right back. your body? I know you are because you see good, huh? And are you thankful for the air in your lungs? He says yes. So you go more. Show me how you do Show me how you do me kisses. Give me kisses on my cheek. No, no, give me my kisses. What are my kisses is? What are my kisses is? He gave me a kiss on the cheek yesterday. It was the cutest thing ever. Give me my kisses. I could just watch this all day long. Like I could not even do Good Morning Sunshine. I could just, what's that face? What's that face? Tell him. Okay, give me kisses on my cheek. Give me kisses. <laughs> what do you see today, the flying pig? He loves the flying pig that's in our house. Who doesn't have flying pigs around their house? Like I'm literally not talking about any subject now. We're just staring at Quincy. So you guys, oh, give me kisses. Come and kiss it! Come and kiss it! Come and kiss it! Come and kiss it! Don't you smile! Don't you smile! Okay, say I love you, friends. Chill, <laughs> guys. Quincy has the cutest Halloween costume ever. You're gonna be so excited to see it. Okay, you wanna say bye? Give me your hearts. Love you, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. I got a kiss. I stole it. All right, guys. Love your faces. See you tomorrow. Thank you for staring at my baby for the last two minutes. Oh, my God. He's just so cute. Bye, guys.